Excuse me, folks. We want to get the program moving, and uh, I really want to start off with the uh, quarterback of, of the ticket. I really believe, resume-wise, Cedar Lake has never seen a candidate this qualified to lead the town's money. And frankly, his opposition and the failure to manage the money makes Phil's election more important than any election in the history of this town, and I want you to meet Phil Cicero. First off, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. You got to thank Karen and Diane, Jimmy and Sig. They've done a great job organizing this event. And of course, you got to thank John for the tireless work he's done with the Democrat Party and helping us get started in our campaigns. This is my first time running. Uh, it's been a great experience so far, just getting started. There's been a lot of support and a lot of help. I really appreciate it. Um, I originally am from Northeastern Ohio. I was uh, born and raised there. I went to Youngstown State. I finished college, and I went out to Las Vegas. And I was out there until uh, until 2003, and then I moved back to the Midwest to get closer to family after having uh, two kids at the time. And now I now have four kids, and uh, my wife would not that she took took the little one home, and she's coming back. Uh, my current position is at Rivers Casino in Rivers in uh, Des Plaines, Illinois. I'm the cage manager. I've been there since actually before it opened, and previous to that, I was cage and credit manager at Majestic Star in the area. I've been the treasurer of our POA, and I worked with John, who was the president of the uh, board at the time, and we, we changed a lot of things there and uh, brought our dues from $100 down to $40, actually $39. So, so we were able to save a lot of money and get things organized. Um, I'm also a member of the Masonic Lodge in, in uh, Crown Point, uh, and I was a treasurer there for a couple years. So I've been uh, had this a similar duty in my role as cage manager. We are overseeing the cashiering functions of the cage, the, basically the bank and vault of the casino. So uh, that is my experience. I'm excited about running. I've been in Cedar Lake for 10 years. Made a lot of friends. I live in Robin's Nest. And uh, looking forward to this, this summer and a very uh, good campaign. So thank you. Thank you, Phil. And the town, the, the more voters that meet Phil Cicero, the more that they'll know they need Phil Cicero. Our next candidate is uh, running in Ward 2 as a Haven, Havenswood uh, resident, and I'd like to bring up uh, Rick Dinjay. Thank you, John. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Phil Cicero for throwing my name into the hat, and John, uh, having lunch with him and getting me involved with this. I'm looking forward to the run. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Good job. Uh, asking for your support. My, my story is a little bit similar to Phil's. About 30 years ago, a friend of mine, we decided to take a chance to move to Las Vegas. Uh, ended up working out pretty well. Started a 30-year career. Uh, met my, my lovely wife, Deborah, out there, and we started a family. And along the way, we moved across the, the, the uh, United States into a couple of states, ending up over here in Indiana. So, uh, resident of Havenwood for, thir for 15 years. All of my kids have gone to the uh, Hanover uh, school system. Uh, I look forward to running, and I don't know a lot of the names because I'm new, I'm new to this, and it's my first time running, but I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. And Rick said it perfectly. We were not, we were not building a party of, a, of candidates of retread. We were building a party of education and professionalism. And it was time for a change in this town, and that's why we went out and we recruited the, the quality of candidates that we have. So I'm very grateful, and thank you for that. And our next candidate is running in the fourth ward, and that one's special to me, because I'll tell you, I live in the fourth. And I want to start off by saying, we, the fourth has had many issues, towns, uh, roads, the, the, the snow removal, and uh, our neighbors have complaints, and one of the uh, husbands 
of one of the Republican candidates puts out an email about this gentleman's opponent that says, the compliment wasn't aware of any issues in this ward. Well, it was three years into your term. It was a hell of a time to uh, try to get to know your constituents. So we went out and we got the best. And we got the Robin's Nest POA president. And I want to introduce you to our Democratic candidate, Chuck Becker. Thank you. I'm new to this. And I decided to step up because about the annexation, the train issue, these roads are horrible, and we need a voice in office. I work in uh, Roadway, I've been there for 25 years, I've been a Teamster for 25 years, and I figured it's time to bring some common sense to this town council. Thank you. Everybody loves Chuck. Chuck's a man of few words and a lot of action. And, and, and that's what this town needs. So thank you, Chuck. Our next candidate spent his life in public service. And he's uh, running in the primary in the 6th Ward. And he's a well-known name and a longtime Democrat. And I want to introduce next Wilbur Cox. doesn't mean much, except for the fact that I love this lake, and I love the people in this town. And so I was able to honor uh, to serve as a councilman in the 90s, and was a council past president. But I was working at the time, still in government, and I didn't get to dedicate all the time it really takes to do a good job, although I thought I did one heck of a job. Because I like people. I like doing things for people. I believe in service to people. So now that I'm retired and got a lot of time, and my wife wants me out of the house a little bit, uh, I'd like to do the same thing over again. It would be an honor and a privilege to absolutely serve the residents of this town. And I ask for your support. And thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Wilbur. Great job. Hey, folks, I'm very proud. I'm very proud as chairman that in the six ward race, we have two such qualified candidates. I mean, two true public servants. And, we're, and, and you know what? They're going to fight it out on the first Tuesday of May, and then they're going to come together and work together. We'll let the voters decide that. But I promise you, whoever comes out of that race will be better than anything the Republicans are giving this town. We all know that. But you're getting a taste of our town. I want to stop right there for a minute because uh, Bob Tribble came in from the St. John Township Democratic Party. He's a big supporter. I also want to take another moment to, to thank our platinum sponsors. Peggy Katona, again, God bless you. Ray Gupta, Ray Gupta. You do so much for the people of Lake County. You're a well-kept secret, and God bless you. Steve Kramer, Union Strong and Union Proud. <laughs> to all our Union brothers and sisters, the Cedar Lake Democratic Party is united with you, and we stand to you, and any, any friend of labor will have support from the Cedar Lake Democratic Party. <laughs> with that being said, I want to bring up our other candidate for Ward 6, also a lifetime public servant, a hero, and uh, I want to introduce him, David Craig. Good evening. My name's David Crane. I'm new to this as well. 
However, I have served the community as a law enforcement officer for the Lake County Sheriff's Department for the last 17 years. I was hurt in the line of duty in February of 14 and was forced to retire due to my injuries. I feel that I have a lot left to give to the community and I got in this race because it's not right that we have all Republicans on the town board. I was taught that there should be checks and balances. And it's time that we have checks and balances on this board. I want to bring change to this town in a way. My slogan is Crane Cares. And I do care about not only the people in the 6th Ward, but about everyone in this town. And I believe with your support, we can get all of these seats that we're going for and we can right some wrongs that have been done for so long in this town. Thank you. I want to thank the team. And you know, our, in, in that six ward race, we have a veteran, we have a public servant, I mean, we're giving you great choices. We're giving you the most educated clerk treasurer in the history of this town in a town that is running rampant in lawsuits. And Phil Cicero will clean the books up and the record keeping will be better. And Chuck's been leading his neighborhood. And Rick Dinjay's been leading his neighborhood. And this is what we went. We went and built the best team in the history of this town. And Democrats have ruled. This was a Democratic town. But I'll tell you one thing. And I said it in an open letter to the community. And I won't repeal my words. I don't think Cedar Lake was best served when the Democrats held every position. And I certainly know it's not best served now that the Republicans are holding every position. A system of checks and balances and debate and a team that's going to take the fight door to door, knock door to door, and talk to the people of Cedar Lake. And someday we'll, we'll be able to drive on the back roads in the winter on something more than a snowmobile because your car will be able to get down the street. This administration has been a colossal failure. So I want to say that, and thank you and God bless, and here's my beautiful wife, Crystal, our Vice Chairwoman. I just wanted to add, um, I know John and uh, everyone who's spoken to you all has thanked you for coming out and showing your support. Um, I want to personally thank you all because most of your faces I know from Facebook <laughs> and I appreciate your support and showing up and the great turnout that we've um, done here. Um, I do also want to say that um, may the best man or woman win in this primary and I want everyone to know that uh, I just think you're crazy. All of you. If any of you vote Republican. That's all I got to say. All right, go.